This is the Ryder and Lisa Replay. Brought to you by Action Furnace. Fixed right or it's free. Overrated. Drinking more than one night on a weekend. Oh, okay. So I realized I had a couple beers on Thursday for the Oilers game. Mm-hmm. Friday, went to the Elks game. It was a blast. Saturday, had a wedding. Yesterday, I was a piece of garbage. <laughs> I thought you were going to swear. <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> It's just, it's too much. Yeah. It's gross. Like, I actually felt disgusting yesterday. I remember thinking, like, I think it was a Vegas trip, maybe, or a, a stag or a ball tournament, that three nights in a row is no longer in my you can't repertoire. Do it. No, I can't. I just feel like trash for too long after. So I kind of get what you're saying. You feel so anxious, mm. too, which isn't fun. It's not a good feeling. And Sundays are my good days to, like, relax and... You know, do the laundry and prepare for the week so I'm on top of it and I can reach my goals. I did nothing yesterday. I just ate bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You I am so gross. Fast food for lunch and then yeah. ordered in pizza for dinner. With no meat on it. Like, I'm not even getting any protein here. <laughs> just it's so bread, bad. Hot bread. <laughs> it was terrible. Yeah. All right. Well. It's a new day. I know, but... It's game four tonight. Don't tell me things like this. And when you're facing elimination, you know the rules, don't you? What are the rules? You have to eliminate a 15-pack. No. Yeah. There's no way. Those are the rules. Do it for the team. Just at my parents' 50th wedding anniversary, which I thought was a pretty huge deal a couple weeks ago, but there's an Alberta couple that's putting them to shame. An Edmonton couple. So they just celebrated 75 years together. Unbelievable. Yep, they're 96 years old and counting, they said. And so they got married on June 3rd, 1947. So yeah, they literally just celebrated it over the weekend. And I just love hearing elders give it life advice. Mm -hmm. Because you've made this joke before that when you're in your 90s and someone asks you, what's the key to life? Like, what's the key to living long? You just lie. Yeah, like I'll just make so, some up. It's so funny to me. There's that one woman that went viral for saying, oh, I drink a Dr. Pepper every day. And it's like, well, sign me up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you eat a pine cone. Isn't that what you said? <laughs> You're like, I'm going to tell people to like start chewing on pine cones. Well, yeah, just to see if you can mess with people and if they'll believe you. So their simple advice for anyone that wants a very healthy, long marriage, choose the right partner. Okay. That was their profound advice. That's a pretty, pretty good advice. Literally the cutest thing ever. John goes on to say everything else will fall into place. So it's John and Bertha. That, those are their names. He has the same style as you. He's wearing like a slouch cap. <laughs> Don't. He's 96. Is he killing it? Oh, he actually is. Okay. He's a I'll stud. Take it, I'll take it. I'll They're take both it. so beautiful. Um, they said that they were friends first and that developed into something more. A year later, they were married. All right. Really cute. I would say the best advice I've ever heard about relationships is to make sure you take some time to go for dinner twice a week. Hmm. You go on Tuesdays. She goes on Friday. That is so (laughs) bad. Um, John wrote in this interview, to this day, I still consider marrying Bertha as my greatest achievement. Like, that is so hot. Saying things like that loud enough that she hears is also really good (laughs) advice. (laughs) couple out in Leduc made a fairly wild discovery while looking around their property that they had just bought. Mm -hmm. Uh, They had kind of checked it out in the winter, but waited for the snow to melt and were actually out checking things out when they came across what looked to be a very large bone. Yeah. And as we all know, Alberta is one of the, I guess, richest sources of dinosaur remains and Mm -hmm. fossils. It's pretty cool. So they're walking along the property and it's kind of like down in a trench almost. So they had to get pretty dirty to find out what the heck was in the side of this, um, I guess, dirt wall. And it turns out it's potentially the femur of one of the biggest predators to ever walk this planet. The T-Rex. Whoa. Uh, This is Brenda Sedlak talking about it from CTV News. It's super exciting in general, but for it to be such a large dinosaur like the Tyrannosaurus, I think that's, uh, that's just takes it just a little bit higher on the excitement level. Okay, so after looking at the picture, if anyone wants it, we can text it to you, 780-784-7107. If I was going on a walk Mm -hmm. and saw this, I would never look twice. It looks like a rusty pipe. I'd be like, oh, interesting, but I wouldn't 
look Yeah, again. you'd be like, yeah, we got to clean that up. There's a bunch of pipes down there. No, I don't want to get tetanus. It's a femur. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. And how pumped are these paleontologists that show up and figure out what animal it was? Well, and quite often when you find one thing like that, Mm -hmm. there are other parts of the body or maybe other animals remains, other dinosaur remains nearby. So they're pretty excited to scour the... uh, the area now, look a little deeper and see what else they can find. Pretty cool story all yeah, in all, though. I love it. So they're going to take it from the creek bed that they found it on and uh, get it into a museum ASAP. And once again, that was uh, just outside of Leduc. Pretty awesome. Oh, people want the picture. It's going to be underwhelming because it looks like a pipe. <laughs> but it actually is really cool when you realize, okay, this is part of a dinosaur. We're talking about the wildest thing you've ever found. Mm-hmm. And it seems to be... Something that you find when you're going for a walk, when you're Mm -hmm. playing with your friends at a playground. Why are people leaving, like, let's say, um, a bong on a playground? Why would you leave that there? Sure. I mean, uh, maybe it was an accident. You probably forgot. But then there's going to be this (laughs) seven-year-old that comes across it, brings it to their parents. Look what I found. (laughs) Yeah, no, not good. Not good. So, yeah, hit us up with your story of just something you found this after a Leduc couple found what seems to be the femur of a T-Rex. We got a text from Army Chris saying he found bones in his backyard as well. What? Yeah, they were next to a few empty Pilsner cans, and he didn't need a paleontologist to tell him they were chicken wing bones. So he just... He just had a good night. He just had some chicken wings with his beers. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so Ryder, you said that you found something when you were younger. Mm -hmm. You and a group of your friends were out quadding. Uh, Skidooing, yeah. We were teenage years, and we were in the middle of absolute nowhere. I don't know how we didn't get lost more often because yep. like, we just go for an entire day. I have to use my Google Maps yeah. to find an establishment downtown no. still. And I like was born and raised here. This was long before that was a thing. <laughs> so we were literally hours away from anything that we knew of. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we came across this old cabin in the woods. Now this sounds like a fake story. I promise it's not. We walk up and there's no lock on it. And so we think it's like there's going to be nothing in it. We were kind of like open the door. We're a little bit scared. Place is awesome. It's loaded up with liquor, cigarettes. Okay, ad- so you just adult, were on someone's property. Adult magazines. There was cut firewood ready to go. So that's, we like. Ryder, that's just someone's house. <laughs> oh, no, but we're like, who? You're like, what? there are three bowls of porridge. <laughs> one was too hot, one was too cold. No, we were like, what kind of troll lives out in the middle of the woods? <laughs> By himself. <laughs> Troll. Well, we didn't know, right? And then, uh, so we, like, had a fire. Was there a Wi-Fi password? I think there might have even been a freezer with some food in there. I don't know if that's true, because I don't know if there was, there was power. But, uh, yeah, it was awesome. Maybe we took food the next time we went. We ended up going back to this place, like, ten times. It it turns out it's just a cabin in the woods for skidoers. Yeah, right. Who yeah. Re- who restocks it? So all the like the community of skidoers will go out, they'll oh. chop wood, they'll bring something every time they go. So did you ever bring something to supply for the no. next group or were you guys just greedy? Yeah, we were too young to be able to get smokes or liquor yeah. or porn mags. So no, I, I don't <laughs> we might have cut wood for them. That's <laughs> I think uh definitely if you're listening right now and you grew up in the nineties, eighties, seventies, whatever you most likely came across an adult magazine at some point mm. in a ditch somewhere. That's, that's where trees. you discovered it. That's yeah. where you learned about the the anatomy. Mm-hmm. Free education. That and sometimes you'd catch one in an encyclopedia. <laughs> Wait, what part were you looking at in the encyclopedia? Well, you'd have to do some digging. I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure I you saw... You went through every single page. <laughs> I sure saw a set in there a few times. <laughs> <laughs> you found something that you wish you didn't. Fire away. So I lived in an apartment building, and I kept smelling this smell. And at first I thought it was somebody's food that was just nasty smelling. But like two days later, I could still smell it, and it was getting worse. So I went to my landlord and reported it. It turns out that the man who lived there had passed away, and I was smelling his dead body. You actually reaching out to your landlord. There are some people that would just accept the smell, light a few candles, grab some Febreze, and keep living their life. Right. Well, a friend of mine, she was smelling the same kind of smell. She thought it was somebody's rotting garbage. And I finally told her to report it, and it turns out somebody had died in her building as well. Oh, this is a thing. Yeah, apparently.
Okay, I have two shout outs I got to give. Okay. After I was live on location over the weekend, I love when listeners come up. Isn't it nice to be back out oh. talking with listeners and stuff again? Like, we didn't do on locations for quite some time. Yeah. And then I was out Friday as well. And under the sun, meeting I, great people, it just felt awesome. It feels so good. Mm. Um, this one's kind of sad. But I, I met a gentleman named White. He said, can you give a shout out? Rest in peace, big boy Stunna. And then another guy came up to me shortly after and said, can you give a shout out to Patrick Miller, the one and only? And I was like, what's your name? And he didn't say anything. So I was like, you're probably Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of ignored that question and walked away. I was like, okay. He was embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. That is very funny. So, yeah, if you ever see us live on location, make sure you come up and say hi. We love Well, it. yeah, honestly, do approach us. If you're a fan of the show, and uh, you're never going to annoy us. No, and if it looks like we're really busy, like headphones on, microphone in hand, it's just because we're about to go live on air. Mm. So just wait it out. Eventually we'll be. Or I'm just trying to look cool for a photo. Mm, also that. I do that sometimes. For as well. sure. Uh, speaking of just being on the radio, loving it around here, uh, I'm celebrating 10 years with the station later this week. Can you believe it? No. And now, I want to know if anyone listening right now has been a dedicated listener for a decade, because I'm sure a lot of people remember when you were first um, on air here mm-hmm. on 107. You were the only host, and you've always been the only morning show host until... I came along. Grant Johnson did the show with us for a short time. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had uh, Harley, who sat in on our morning show for a while. But no, you've kind of been the staple of 107 since it launched. That's pretty cool. So what I'm trying to do this week is gather a bunch of fun stories about riders. So if you're listening right now and you have a core memory of something that he either said on air a bit he did, a prank, or maybe it was an interaction that you had with him in person. I need to know about it because I'm creating something pretty fun for the show on Friday. You just have to be a little bit careful how you word it, though. You Mm. asked this on Twitter this morning. Yeah, so I wrote, good morning. I'm looking for your favorite memory of Ryder, whether it was on air or in person. It can be heartwarming, hilarious, or embarrassing. Please send me a voice note of you talking about it to lisa at play107.com. Everyone thought you died. As yeah. soon as the people woke up and saw that tweet, majority of people responding are like, is he dead? My heart stopped reading. That. I'm like, no, no, no. It's just his work anniversary. My, yeah. my bad. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'd like to give a shout out to anybody who was worried that I was dead this morning. I'm not, I don't think, unless I'm dreaming. Can you pinch me? Oh, gladly. Ow! Oh, uh, not that hard. The question is, do I cancel slow pitch tonight for my entire team? I'm the captain the manager, the president, the best player, and uh, <laughs> watch the Oiler game like I really want to. Haven't you been out with an injury for like three weeks? Yeah, like a week and a half, yeah. Missed a few games. Okay, so what is the answer to this question? Quick poll on the text line. Should Ryder cancel the game tonight so that the <laughs> team can watch the Oilers? At this point, are people still feeling hopeful? Uh, I am. Mm-hmm. I'm really hopeful. I, I'm invested in us winning a game in this series and then seeing what happens. Okay. So, like, But if we lose tonight, it's over, right? That's right. So oh, I'll, that's I'll so tough. definitely be at ball on Wednesday <laughs> yeah. if we lose tonight. Uh, but yeah, I, I just don't know what to do. So I'm looking at the odds here. What are the chances that the Oilers can get this done? Before you get into that, Cody said, the weather forecast sucks. Cancel it. Richard says, yes. Why is this even a question? Okay. So I think you got to pull the pen. Might have to do it, yeah. Game's canceled, everybody. (laughs) All right, so uh, the odds of us actually being able to pull off winning the next four games. Which we've done in the past before. We've won four games in a row. Well, last last series. Calgary won the first game, and then we won four in a row. So, yeah, we got it in us. And we are, it feels like a team that's powered by momentum. Mm -hmm. Like, we had really big losing streaks in the regular season. And we had really great winning streaks. And that's just because we build off of momentum, one good and bad. Mm-hmm. Negative momentum gets us. So losing three in a row isn't a surprise to me. But we got to win four in a row now. It seems like McDavid naturally is a very competitive person. Oh, yeah. And always has Hugely. been. Hugely. Uh, you can just tell by the way he's perfected his art. So hopefully we get to see more of that tonight. But the odds are where a team has trailed 3 nothing in NHL playoffs... Four have managed to pull it off. 198 haven't been able to. So that sounds bad, but if you break the numbers down... It's still possible. 
Yeah, there is like better odds than a one in fifty chance that we can win the next four games in a row and win this series. Just wanted to give you an update. One hundred percent of our listeners that are texting in are telling you to cancel your game tonight. Cancel one listener. Slow pitch. One listener wants you to come to their house to watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in. The Ryder and Lisa replay. Brought to you by Action Furnace. Fixed right or it's free. Play one oh seven.